Hey, so this is going to be a great video right here because my friend, uh, Mr. Rudy Maurer, one marketing powerhouse uh, that is one of my favorite people that talk about marketing out there, a good friend of mine that actually has done incredible scaling e-commerce brands. He's going to talk about in this workshop, in this little video, how to actually succeed in the world of social media advertising, how you can scale brands successfully. And there's many, many, many takeaways on this video right here. So make sure that you get ready to take your notes and implement some of the things that he talks about because he's going to teach you the reality of the world of business, acquisition of customers, what it takes to really acquire a customer for the first time and more. So pay attention, listen up. It's going to be a great one. But customers don't wake up every single morning and say, I really want to buy this product. People wake up every single morning with desires and pains and goals. Okay, so they don't care about your product. People, when you're advertising that don't know your company, care about one thing. Themselves. <laughs> Themselves. They don't care how great your product is. They don't great care you spent three years developing it. They don't care about... Mountains it was developed, right? Yeah, they don't care about any of that. They care about what can that product do for me. It's all they care about. But 99% of businesses don't advertise to that. Or if they do, it's halfway down the page in a small bullet. Okay? So you've got to sell an offer that can change someone's life or make someone's life better or remove someone from pain. They're the three things you've got to do. One of three, or if you can, all three. Okay? That's what people care about, and that's what people will click on. Now, of course, your best friend and your mom and your brother care about your product because they know you, they love you, right? And they're so proud of you. But someone on Facebook ads that has no clue who you are and thinks you're a scam does not care about your product or your story. They care about what can it do for me. If I'm going to click this ad and buy this random product, do I believe that it can help me in some way or shape or form, right? Can it make me lose weight quicker? Can it help save time? Can it help grow my business? Can it make my life more comfortable? Okay, that's what people on Facebook and when you're advertising really care about. So how do you create this for your product? Okay, do you, first thing you need is a unique selling point. What makes your product, your business, your offer unique? Okay, I always say with my one-on-one -on -one clients, I ask them what they do. They tell me in about five minutes, and I say, great, now tell me in two sentences. And they go, oh, that's why I hired you. <laughs> Can't do that. No one has five minutes on a Facebook ad. No one cares. No one's going to stay and read five minutes except your mom, your brother, and your friend. Okay? You need a unique selling point. Okay? And the way you create a unique selling point is this. Okay? What you do well, okay? And then you avoid stuff that's irrelevant, okay? This is, a, this is a complex subject for a lot of people because what you guys believe you do well or your product does well doesn't always relate to what the customer wants and needs and cares about, okay? It's the first thing to watch out for. Second thing, okay, is if you do something well but a thousand other companies do it just as well and they, they advertise just like you do and they cost the same or even less, it's not unique. Right? It's not unique. So what you need to do right, is figure out what you do well, what the gap is that other companies similar to you aren't advertising or promoting or pushing. You need to do this very important point that most people forget about, which is what your customer actually cares about, not what you care about or what you think they care about. You've got to do market research, avatar research, and figure out what your customers actually care about. And then you combine what you do well, what your customers care about, and what your competition isn't focused on, and you create a sweet spot. Okay, and that becomes your unique selling point. Okay? Gives you that differentiator in the marketplace to promote and push. Okay? So once you've got that, you can help, it'll help you craft what I call a ridiculously irresistible offer. Okay? So here's a few key components. You need the unique selling point. You need to know, if I deliver this product or service, how will it change someone's life? Okay? Most people confuse deliverables for what? 
you get this, 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 you get you get an instruction manual, get batteries, you get whatever. No one cares, right? They care about how can it change their life? What are the deliverables to change someone's life? Okay? And then that comes to the next point, the outcomes and results. Okay? Not the benefits about the you know, this was sourced in this place and it has this type of engine in it, okay? How many people that buy a Lamborghini know every single thing about Lamborghini? Why do they buy a Lamborghini? They wake up at 6 a.m. and say, I really want this type of engine that does this and then it does this and has this pollution rating and it does all this. No. Very few people know about that, okay? There are, of course, a part of the subset of the avatar that are car fanatics that know about that, okay? Big percent of people that buy a Lamborghini or an exotic car buy it for what? The outcomes, the results, how they'll feel, how they'll look, how other people will perceive them, the sense of achievement they have from driving a Lamborghini, okay? <clears throat> Next is price, okay? Price in terms of payment, okay? Is the price suitable for what you're selling and who you're selling to, okay? Price should change depending on how you sell and who you sell to, okay? Someone that's followed you for five years that you've had on a live event and then they had a sales call and then they came on a two-day trip with you is probably ready to pay more money than someone that met you on a Facebook ad 20 minutes ago, okay? So what you're doing right now and may be successful in Okay, when you sell to your warm followers, people that know, like, and trust you, and then you try and repeat that to cold traffic and then wonder why it doesn't work, it's because you're not changing the way you sell based on the avatar, okay? For example, you might need a terms of payment. Say you have a 10K offer, 10K coaching program. Someone that's followed you for four years and you, they watch you every day on social media and they've come to two of your events might be ready to pay 10K to you when you tell them about it. Someone that watched a two-minute video on Facebook ad, clicked the link, filled in their email and form, and then got a call from your sales team, might want to join, but they're not ready to send you 10K. But maybe they're ready to pay you $1,000 a month and pay 1000 today to commit to trying it. Okay, Easier to sell. So you have to, again, adapt what you sell maybe to the way you're selling. Next to the bonuses, okay, selling online, one tip and one trick is having bonuses and guarantees that make people want to buy. So I always teach you should have a bonus or bonuses so strong that customers email you and say, how do I get the bonus? That's the main reason I bought this today, okay? When you start getting those emails, you know you got a strong bonus. I genuinely get emails like that, okay? Next is the guarantee. Okay, first thing is you should have a guarantee. You need a guarantee, okay? Maybe you haven't needed a guarantee but when you've been selling whatever you sell to people that know, like, and trust you over the years. People local to you, people that have followed you, blah, blah, blah. Now you're selling to strangers, they need a guarantee, okay? They need a guarantee to move forward because they don't have that level of trust yet. Now here's the catch with guarantees. Every business owner makes a guarantee based on what? What they can offer that makes them feel good about it. Okay, as an owner, a business owner. If you're making a guarantee where you feel safe, you're probably not letting the customer feel safe, which is the whole point of a guarantee. So I always teach, make a guarantee so strong that you're nervous to offer it as the business owner. Because when you're nervous to offer it, what does the customer feel? Safe which is the whole point of a guarantee, especially when they have low trust, which is what happens when they come from a Facebook ad and they don't know you, okay? And then the last stage is urgency. Your friend that wanted to join the 10K program that you met for a coffee and told about, you don't need to say to them, hey buddy, you gotta sign up right now at the coffee shop, you walk out, that door's gone forever and you're gonna have to pay more and you might never get a slot. Because if he has to go think about it and talk to his wife, you know you're going to see him at golf next week. But when it was a Facebook ad and they booked a sales call, they don't know who you are, they clicked an ad, you hit them at the right time, they got on a call. If they tell you they'll see you next week and think about it, you think they're ever going to come back? No, 90% never come back from a Facebook ad. 
So you need more urgency to push the buying decision right away, or you lose 90% of people. Again, you've got to change the way you advertise. What works over here doesn't work over here. Okay? Every single one of you needs a different way to sell online. Just like every single local business's store looks a little different. A restaurant versus a clothing store versus a hardware store versus a car garage, they all look a little different, right? So it's the same online. When you're starting to sell, you have to create the right sales process or what some people call sales funnel for what you're selling, how you're selling, and who you're selling to. Okay? Make sense? If I put a bunch of clothes in a restaurant store, in a restaurant, and made it a clothing store, do you think it would do as well? If they had to walk around tables and there was no dressing rooms? We're like, sorry, you can go in the restroom and change, though. There's a re or the kitchen, if you want to go in the kitchen with the chefs, they're cooking, but you can change in the, the freezer part, that's fine. Doesn't work, right? It's what people do every day with their funnels and their websites. Try and fit a square in a circle, they spend two grand on ads, then they hire an agency, pay the agency three grand, then they do that five more times and eventually ring me and say, Rudy, I've tried ads for years and nothing's working. Okay? Because this whole time, They've been running their restaurant, they've been running their clothing store out the restaurant. They wondered why it didn't work, okay? So you've got to, you've got to figure out the exact way to sell based on the industry you're in, the price point, what you're selling, who you're selling to, how you're selling it, okay? If you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and subscribe. Help me comment below and let me know if you have any questions about marketing. And I, I'm on a mission to help as many of you as possible conquer the marketing world. So help me out, subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell, get notified. We're going heavy with content in this 2021 year and beyond. Go ahead and subscribe right now.